Hey everybody, Vlogmas in July continues. No God! This video kicks off exactly where yesterday's video kicked off, except I'm back 50 minutes back to my campsite. To my campsite and noticed that several of my things were moved, like my chair and my tripod, and people were setting up camp in my campsite. It, why does this keep happening? What an asshole. It got really full here. You, you moved my camping chair and my tripod and you just set up camp in my camp. Oh, well, you know, we're going to be here for the weekend. There's nowhere else to go. The really messed up part about it is, is I'm so bad at confrontations that I don't even know how to leave if I wanted to. Hey, you stupid fucking cunt. What would I do? How would I say it? Would I just not talk to him, hook up the car and just pack up? fun teaching moment for that family of a-holes. Hey kids, if we get here late and people are already set up, just set up on top of them and make as much noise as possible, be as rude as possible, because that's what camping's all about. Something upset you. I am shocked, guys. I am literally shocked. That was a calculated attempt to remove me so that they could have that whole area. Calculated. It worked. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. I'm not gonna put myself through it though. I don't like confrontations, but I am not gonna suffer for no reason. For two more days out here, we're leaving. Hey, you stupid fucking cunt. I know, blah, blah, blah. All you real men out there would have handled that so much better. I, whatever, guys, I don't care. You stupid fucking cunt. They were laughing when I left. They do this as a career. I wish that I could work on my confidence, my self-confidence, as well as sticking up for myself. And um, and the other thing I realized is that things would have been much, much different if I weren't out there alone. Uh, if my buddy Andrew was there, or if Sean was with me, I wouldn't be in the RV right now. We would be probably enjoying our campsite alone. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational But I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to gain that confidence. I don't know how to, don't know how to be an a-hole when I need to be, you know? So... Oh, really? <laughs> well, I'm out front, my buddy's house here in Aberdeen. Um, we, we talked about the whole, the whole situation and maybe I learned some stuff. Um, it's just, there, there's nobody to call. There's no camp host. There's no, Oh really? you know, I knew we had a problem when he said, well, you're just going to have to deal with it. And then turned his back to me and walked away. I knew that was when this guy was not going to be moving out of my campsite. He was, oh, really? um, so I could have left in the car. 50 miles until I can make a phone call to someone who could do anything. Oh, really? Uh, but at that point, he knows I'm leaving and going to tell on him. He's just going to burn my RV to the ground. Oh, really? So either way, I just don't see how I could have handled that situation any better. Oh, really? So, I still have a stomach ache. I still don't feel well. And um, anyways, guys, I'm not in the mood. I'm going to take the rest of the day off. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Oh,